Welcome back to another 12 days of Christmas. Today I have drugstore top favorite highlighters that I truly enjoy. I feel like the drugstore lacks some of the highlighters, but there are some that are really, really good and some that cater towards those that really want a shiny, shiny highlight. And then you have those that are more subtle, uh, less visible um, from a distance, basically. But they're still beautiful and they complement certain looks that you are trying to achieve. So I have quite a few of them in here. I do have some cream and I do have some powder. All of these can be found at a drugstore, not online. I double checked and made sure that some of these, I went to the physical store and I did check that I can get them at the actual store, as well as online, obviously, if you cannot find them at any of your local drugstores. So if you're curious to see which ones I'm talking about, just stay tuned. So I have these in no particular order. The first one I pulled out is obviously one that everyone has been loving, and for good reason. It is the Physician's Formula Natural Nude highlighter this highlighter comes in two different colors natural nudes and i believe a darker bronzier color this one you can use as eyeshadow you can use this as highlight you can use this as a blush topper you can use this for many different things you can kind of make it your own highlighter as well if you want more pinky tone more bronzy more cooler tone more warmer tone so this is very versatile and very very pigmented if you swatch all these together like this is serious highlight it's gorgeous it's soft i don't know if you guys can see it with the light it's soft it's beautiful it's everything you would want from a drugstore highlighter I just can't get enough of it. There are so many people raving about this and for a very, very good reason. If you love that extreme highlight but soft with no glitter, this is the one for you. Wait till there's a sale because this is pretty expensive for the drugstore, but it is 100% worth it. Next up that I have is two Physician Formula. I'm putting these together because it is the same one, just two different colors. It's the Physician's Formula Mineral Glow Pearls. I have mine in beige pearl and translucent pearl. And the reason why I have two of them is because they come, they have like five or six different ones of these. And depending on what you prefer is the ones that I think are best for you. These get good and bad reviews and I can see where they're getting both ends. I think that you just have to learn to use a specific brush with these because these have made your fallout and they're a little bit crumbly. You cannot be too hard on these. If you swatch these and you push down too hard, these are going to melt. This one in particular is called Translucent Pearl. This is more of the cooler pinkier toned highlighter. I like to wear this this time of year. It's very nice if you know how to work with it. It is beautiful and it does last on my skin as well. I use a fan brush like this because then I can tap off the excess so it doesn't last la land on my face. And then I go ahead and just put it on my cheeks. I, I really do like this one. This one only in the winter time when I am pale. It looks really nice with certain looks, cooler tone looks. Um, and it doesn't have glitter, which I do appreciate. Now this one is in beige pearl, which is more of my skin tone throughout the year. This one has a little bit more goldy to it. Um, if you see them in person, you could definitely tell. And you could probably see it in the swatch, yes. It is um, more of a beigey color right there. I don't know if you guys can really tell, I'm so sorry. But these two, I, I do like these, I do. These can be packed on to really get a foiled look. Wet them, you can get a foiled look. Just make sure you use like a fan brush. Something soft, not something where it's gonna pick up too much product because you're gonna get a lot of fallout with this particular one. So I would that's what I would recommend and how to use these, but these are actually pretty good. I like these and they last on oily skin as well. So uh, these are definitely ones that I have been using. Next up, if you want a softer highlight, I use this more to clean up contour and to kind of give my skin a little bit of a glow when I am a little bit dull. And it's the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. You've heard this one. This is more for mature skin. For those that don't want too much on their face, it is beautiful and you get a lot of product. When you swatch it, it looks more matte, but it has a sheen to it. So it's not glitter, it's not uh, shimmer, it's just a glean to 
your face. I use it to chisel out my cheekbones or under set under my eyes when I feel like it looks dull and bland and just dead. I kind of use this as a hourglass ambient powder kind of thing. So if this has lasted me forever, but I do like this one. Another one that has been around for a long time is Hard Candy Tiki. This one is supposed to be another baked highlighter. I don't know why they do that. But this one is another subtle one. It's subtle. It's beautiful. It's more of a champagne gold color. It's not obnoxious in your face. It has no glitter flexes. It is baked. So I feel like the baked products kind of work a little bit better as far as fallout goes. And you get so much product. I really like this one. This is also another one that I will always have in my collection when I don't know what to do when I have natural makeup and I just want something subtle this is the one I pull out and I really have loving I've, I've been really loving that one lately I forgot all about it an oldie but a goodie I think I discovered these like when I first started my channel and I still love these certain ones I don't like they have all different colors um, but this one in particular I really like this is the NYX illuminator in ritualistic which is the whitish gold one. These can get powdery if you pack them on, but look at that. These are serious. But if you use the right brush and apply them nicely, this one can really be a nice highlight. I love using this one in the summertime when I am more tan because it gives me more of a gold melted look to my cheekbones. It's beautiful. They have pinks, peaches, um, I think they have like a rosy color that's more like a blush topper. They have this one, and I recently saw that they came out with duochrome ones, uh, highlighters. But this one in particular has always been my favorite. I love Ritualistic. It's just a beautiful, it looks white in the pan, but it's like a nice gold undertone to it. And when you blend it out, it is, it's a nice sheen. No glitter at all, it's a sheen to it, and it's gorgeous. I really like that one. A new one to my collection, and everyone has been going bonkers for it, Makeup Revolution. They hit this one out of the park when it comes to highlighters. Oh my goodness. This is your go-to if you want a serious highlight. Look at that thing. That is gorgeous. You, again, can mix and match which colors you want if you want more lighter go to the top if you want more darker go to the bottom i typically swirl it all around and it just works for my skin tone it's beautiful swirled all around it's more like a soft goldish rose gold color it's really really pretty i like this one very very much it's definitely newer to my collection, but I'm glad I have it because it is a great one. This is the one I am wearing today. I've always been a fan of the e.l.f. baked highlighters. This one in particular is one of my favorites. It's called Moonlight Pearl. This is one of the very first highlighters I've ever purchased through e.l.f. And oh my goodness, I love, love this one. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's not pink. It's not gold. It's a neutral highlighter. And when you wet it and you put it on your cheeks, you get some serious glow. This is going to last me forever. I love this one. And you can get this one at Target, I believe, and CVS's. So they do carry these in store. This one, and I think Blushing Gems or Beauty Gems, something like that, is the other one I always see in store. So this one is gorgeous. I love this one so, so, so much. It's definitely one of my favorites. This one, I am, I'm considering this one here because it is going to be permanent as of 2017. And I think everyone should own it. It's the new Wet n Wild Pro Highlighting Powders. Oh, Precious Metals is by far my favorite. You guys have seen this one. This is one of those serious glows. Wet n Wild just hit it right out of the park making this one. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. This one is more rosy toned than my Moonlight Pearl. It reminds me very, very much of the Makeup Revolution. If you swirl them all together, it's basically almost the same type of highlighter. This is beautiful. It's going to be permanent, so do not to worry. I'm pretty sure they said 2017 it'll be coming back in stock with uh, the Canopy one, the, the darker, bronzier one. But this is so soft to the touch, no glitter, 
definitely a foiled look this is not subtle by any means but it is so beautiful i love it another wet and wild one that i love and there's two of them that i do really really enjoy i can't find the other one at the moment but these are the wet and wild uh this is hollywood boulevard this one everyone's afraid of this one and it's gorgeous this one and rose champagne are my top two favorite i purchased rose champagne when i first started my channel and it's been one of my favorites for this time of year specifically because it's more of a pinky white type of highlighter but this one looks weird but trust me it is gorgeous on the skin it is stunning another one that looks very similar to the wet and wild um what is it precious precious petals yes precious petals it's very similar to it it's a little bit more gold a little but just by a slight bit it's more uh gold than it uh the precious metals but it is beautiful soft to the touch no glitter definitely a very strong foil look again rose champagne is another one that's my favorite those this one and that one are my favorite hollywood boulevard so if you're looking for something and this is going to last you forever like I don't think I've ever seen anybody pan that sucker because it is huge and it'll last you a very long time. The last two that I have are exclusive to one um, store or another, but these are the cream shadows and these, my goodness gracious, why isn't anybody talking about these at all? I don't hear anyone talk about it and I don't understand because I have very oily skin, but I feel like I could still use cream products and they work. Especially for layering, I think it's amazing because it makes things last longer. So the first one I have is a Sonia Kashuk highlighter. This is what it looks like. This is Target exclusive, obviously. It is called Sparkling Sands. Oh, it brings a cap that always flings off. But it's a twist up, and this is what the color looks like. I'm going to swatch this thing because you guys need to see this. Look at this thing. It is so beautiful it is creamy to the touch i normally use a brush or i use my fingers i'm going to blend this out for you guys so you guys can really see it it is amazing to layer it's not oily it's oh, i can't describe it it just looks like a glow within it's just beautiful i love it she has two of them one's more pinky tone this is more of the gold champagne it's more champagne than gold but my gosh if you see this in person it is amazing amazing and let me tell you i'm touching it right now not sticky it doesn't feel like it is cream it doesn't feel like it's wet runny it is a beautiful formula i love it i really really do like this one a lot the other one that i'm going to mention is a walmart exclusive it is from the flower beauty line and she also has two or three of these this one is called glisten up and it's a pearl shimmer highlighter chubby stick this is what the packaging looks like this one is even more creamy than the sonia kashuk one and the sonia kashuk one is creamy i think i used one of these in tutorials for you guys already this one is oh my gosh, my gosh. this one's a little bit more intense than the sonia kashuk one here it is right here. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. You really do need these two cream ones. I don't understand why no one speaks of these. These two are so, 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 so good. I love these. I love patting them on my cheeks. I love using these all over the face under foundation. I love using these as my helpers to other highlighters. It's just, oh, there's so many uses for this. It is stunning. I love these two, really, really do love these two a lot as far as cream ones from the drugstore. So there you have it guys, look at this. Highlighter heaven, highlighter heaven. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do have any highlighters that I missed that you think I should try out that I can get at the drugstore, please let me know down in the comment section below. I will list all of these down in the description box. I will do my best to try to find these online because I have a feeling some of these I probably won't be able to find online. They're only available at the actual store themselves. So thank you again for watching. I will catch you guys tomorrow in another 12 days of Christmas video. Video. If you are new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you did like it. Thank you again for all of your support, and don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear.